Radio Raheem with Eddie Hearn as last minute replacements go and guys who nobody thinks can win. You're not having a great track record this year. <laughs> You've thrown well, yet Andy another Ray. heavyweight yeah. in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this could be the second no, no, Henry, no, no, Henry no, no, Ruiz. But, would, but the thing is, it's like it's a double edged sword, isn't it? Um, although it's my job to obviously make the right fight, I'm also a fan. Like, we've sold 9,000 tickets in Chicago, right? I want a good fight, you know? So I wanted someone that I believe was technically good enough, and that's hard when it's Usyk. But I wanted a big guy who can punch a little bit, you know, who's not just going to roll over. And that's when the main thing to discuss is, when you're looking at it, are you going to try? I know that's a crazy thing to say, but that's what I really want to ask the opponents. Are you going to try for me in this fight? You know, because I don't want you to come get hit and go over in the first round and everyone boos and moans. I believe it would be Chaz, having watched enough of him over the years, he can fight, he knows how to fight, he's a big heavyweight, he can punch a little bit as well, and I think he'll have a go. Other guys we looked at as well, probably five or six guys. Some weren't fit, didn't fit for other reasons. Um, and I think we got a guy, particularly what I mainly wanted, which was a big guy, in U6 heavyweight debut, do you know what I mean? Didn't want a small heavyweight, I wanted a guy that actually looked like a, you know, because, and by the way, Usyk hasn't boxed for a year. Neither. Right, he hasn't so, boxed for a year, never boxed heavyweight. Yeah. He's already calling himself the best heavyweight in the world and so calling out Deontay Wilder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds like he's going to get beat on Saturday then. Yeah, yeah. Listen, anything can happen when he, Chas can punch. Like, you know, I, I don't think he wins and I think Usyk looks good and, and knocks him out, but Chas will let his hands go, you know, and he can punch. So, we'll see. Well, as uh, Usyk's promoter, hearing those words already, it made you a little nervous. Oh, yeah, <laughs> He's mandatory for the world title, Usyk, for the WBO world title. So, <laughs> really, he shouldn't even be boxing. But, of course, he's got to box. But every mm. fight comes with risk, especially in the heavyweight division. You know, because you've got guys with 10-ounce gloves on that are going to let their hands go. And they're big boys. Um, and, by the way, some, some people don't realise, like, it's really not ideal for someone to take a fight on four days' notice. I'm talking about Usyk. Forget Witherspoon, I'm talking about Usyk, right. right? When he's been in camp preparing for someone completely different. So people go, oh yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's still four days out. You've been working with your technical stuff with Spong and out what he's going to do. Now you've just got this other guy you never really watched before. And now you've got to go away and do your study on that, you know? So it's not, it's not ideal for anyone. But, we've, you know... Like I said, we've sold a huge amount of tickets here. Everybody's, uh, and again, with, with all due respect to Spong, that didn't go down great either. That that announcement of opponent, and it wasn't about Tyrone Spong, it was about Usyk at heavyweight. But as long as I have a proper heavyweight who can punch in front of him, that he's going to try. That's what I want. I want a guy that's going to try. Radio Raheem with Eddie Hearn.